All right, so what up? Um, I'm here, of course. You know what this is, the X. Um, gonna go over the skeleton drum track that I kind of made. Um, let's go over some of the sounds that I had. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but that is a kick that I sampled from a record that I filtered um, all the way down. Um, and I have a, a puncher kick. On top of that, um, of course, using the same pad but different tracks. So I have the undertone on track two, and then the the punchier kick on track three, and then I have a snare, and then another snare. So track four, snare, and then another like rim shot type, or it's actually uh, I'm sorry, it's an attack from uh, from another snare. And then on uh, track 12, I have some my hats of course, which I'll, I'll go ahead and pan a little bit later. Um, so kind of like to break it down. Um, the reason I have everything kind of like on the same pad uh, throughout the different tracks is because um, it makes it easier for me to layer. Uh, the way that you layer on the X uh, is of course different than you would on an MPC because MPC has like a simult mode. Um, the way that you can layer or stack drums in the X is by simply, you know, uh, having the sound on a pad. Like I chose this fourth pad here and uh, on track three and on track two, I have this filter drum here. Um, so what I did is I pretty much laid down the sequence and I just put the snare on the one. I mean, I'm sorry, not the snare, but the kick on the one. Um, and what you do is you go under the sequence uh, function here. You want to select process. And of course, you know, it works because, you know, you have the option for um, yes and no or enter exit here. Now, uh, with the parameter button, you can choose what you want to actually go ahead and do to a particular track so what I did was I selected copy track 3 as it is the track that has this this drum here and what I did was I selected yes now it's gonna ask you the scope of which you want to go ahead and copy the track you want to go ahead and select entire track and the reason I did that was because being is that I had you know just a, a one bar sequence I did it like that um, so that um, so that there, there wasn't too much going on you know what I mean um, so I selected the scope as entire track selected yes and it gives you two paste options you can either merge or replace a track I chose to merge because I'm going to be layering uh, the sound on track three on top of track two. So I select the merge, select yes, and then it gives you the option to select the destination track. So I'm gonna go ahead and select two and select yes and then do it. I already did it, but so that way you can actually go ahead and, and layer a track. And you always wanna make sure that you use the same pad because since you're essentially copying a sequence on, on on one track to another you just want to go ahead and use the same pad so that it works well so um, I did the same thing pretty much for the snares um, so if we can go ahead and play this real quick so that's kind of the, the skeleton track that I had so um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute three so that you can have the undertone under there. So, and uh, started off with one bar loop and then what I did was I just went ahead and appended this out to actually four bars. So it goes all the way out to four. And of course append is, is uh, actually in the process button um, 
under the sequence parameters. So you can go ahead and choose to append the sequence. And when you select yes to do so, it's gonna ask sequence one, of course. And then, you know, I already have it appended to, to four bars. And then it's gonna give you the, the destination start point um, to go ahead and append to. So, um, that's basically it with the drum pattern. Uh, just basically, it was just a uh, snare on two and four and, and just a kick on one. And I'll go ahead and explain why, why I did that. Uh, but let's go ahead and find a sample real quick. <laughs> 